Bill and I are going to do a little role play. The role play will be like this. Uh, in this case, I'm going to send upset toward Bill, but he's going to tell me, he's going to make up the topic. So think of a topic in a minute. Now, what I recommend is you pick a topic where uh, maybe in the past people have gotten mad at you and it's been hard to uh, receive. Uh, or pick a topic that um, you'd like practice on. Uh, so, for example, uh, I, it would be hard for me, for somebody to get mad at me uh, because I was cheap. Um, because, you know, I try not to be cheap, but once in a while I am cheap. So if somebody got mad at me for being cheap, that'd be hard for me. So that's, if, we were, if I was giving Bill a topic to be mad at me, I'd probably have him be mad at me for being cheap. But he's going to think of a topic in a minute, and I'll get mad at him for that. So that's the first thing you're going to tell your partner is what the topic is. Now, if you're kind of a newbie at this, and you're uh, nervous about somebody getting mad at you, then don't pick such a hard topic. Just pick one that it might be easier if somebody got mad at you for, like you're driving, or who knows. Now, the second thing you're going to tell your partner is what level of upset you want to practice. One, two, or three. One is just, don't give me too much. Just be a little upset with me, because I'm a newbie here, and I'm just, you know, I don't want to, like, wilt. Two is, give me some pretty good anger, because I want to practice and see how I'm going to be able to receive it. And three is, which I'm thinking Bill might pick, give me all you got, because I'm, I'm a master at this, and I want to demonstrate mastery. But we'll see. No, that's a, I've been thinking. I think I got a good one. All right. Let's say that I. Uh, let's say that I broke some confidences with regard to your wife or your daughter. For like for like the second or third time, we had, yeah. and and they were really disappointed, like almost undermined, whether or not I even was confidential. Okay, good. And what level of upset do you want me to give well, you? One, two, you or three? Straight. I just want you to... Yeah, so you got to pick yeah, one, two, or three. Okay, well, just, just, just uh, you're really mad. Okay. Yeah, that, you're, you're mad that's... because your wife's mad, and she's giving you a bunch of crap about it. Yeah. And your daughter's mad. All right. And I'm responsible for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he's going to demonstrate practicing. I'm going to demonstrate role-playing. Because that's all it is. I'm, and the only reason I'm role playing is looking this mad is to help him practice receiving anger and dealing with it effectively. And she looked mad at me. Jeez, Bill. Man, man, you know, I almost never yell, but wow. 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 Trisha's like, you know, she's private. She'd never want you to say that. And to tell that, to, particularly to tell that to some people in the workshop who she doesn't even know, who don't even know the other part of her, and you said that, and then she finds out you said it, oh, man, how? Well, I did screw up. Screw up, man. There's screw ups, and then there's screw ups. I made your life difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It made my life really difficult, and it's just like my my chest is just vibrating. I'm just so like livid. Yeah. She's probably wondering why you're going to keep me around, or maybe you aren't going to keep me around. Well, I got to tell you, it's crossed my mind. It's crossed my mind about where our friendship can go, because yeah. I mean that's like a real, real violation. It's a big, big violation. It's completely undermined your trust, your wife's trust. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> and that's one of your biggest values, so I can understand why you'd be so upset about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, here your number one guy is out there. Making a big mistake, and I don't want to swear, but man, it makes me want to swear. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably no solid ground left around it. You can't even trust me with stuff like that.
big, big screw up. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Well, this is a good start because I'm getting the message real, real clear about the how big this mistake is. Oh, I, God, I think you'd got, known that long, long ago. You'd sure think so, wouldn't you? With all my training. <sighs> as if I didn't listen to you. Wow. Well, thanks for telling me. So straight. Thanks for telling me what she thinks about it. Big, got a big mess to clean up here. Yeah. I don't know how to clean it up. You got that. You know, I don't know how, I don't know how to clean it up with you, with me, and I don't know how to clean it up with you, with her, and I don't know how to clean it up with you and the people to whom you revealed the confidence. You know, it looks like unclean it up Yeah. Well, it might not be. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got it? So that's... Excellent. Yeah. And Academy Award winning acting on my part. <laughs> I almost feel mad at you. <laughs> you didn't do anything. <laughs> good job. And good listening, because that's exactly how I've experienced you when we've had upsets like this. And Bill and I have not ever had quite this large of upset, but I've talked to Bill that loudly with that much trembling and that much anger, and he did that well. Yeah. So, you know, when you love somebody, you get mad. <laughs> Sometimes you get mad, even if your goal, like mine, is to be loving all the time and to be non-antagonistic and to be detached. And, but, hey, you love somebody, you get mad. And then you see how it can bring the relationship to another level.